Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other, and today I'm going to take on a request to discuss a team called the Urain Indians. They were founded in 1922 and were gone by 1924. <clears throat> Their team colors were burgundy, gold, and white, kind of like the redskin colors. Head coach was Jim Thorpe. They were a traveling team in the National Football League from LaRue, Ohio, near Marion. The franchise was a novelty team put together by Walter Lingo to market his Urang dog kennels. All the Indian players were Native American, with Jim Thorpe ser serving as its leading player and coach. <coughs> the team played in the National Football League in 1922 and 1923. Of the 20 games they played over two seasons, only one was played at home in nearby Marion, with a population well under 1,000 people. LaRue remains the smallest town to ever have had been home to the to, of an NFL franchise or probably any professional football team in the United States. He owned a do dog kennel and he raised air, he had a deep um, passion for Airedales and at, at um, halftime the players instead of resting they would show off the Airedale dogs. That was that was the halftime show. Um, wasn't really able to get much information on this on this team. It was like I said all Native American. Jim Thorpe was the player coach. Um, 1922, they began their season with a 3-2 and two record in their first five games. Both teams lost. <coughs> they came against NFL opponents, the Canton Bulldogs and Dayton Triangles. Two of their victories came against independent teams and one in the NFL, the perennially bottom-dwelling Columbus Panhandles. One of the, those games against an independent team, the Indianapolis Belmonts, was played in a snowstorm. The Indians defeated the Belmonts 33 to nothing, taking home 2,000 in profits along with a Cherokee tackle named Chief Johnson, whom Thorpe recruited at halftime. <laughs> a week later, the Indians were defeated 62 to nothing by the Akron Pros. The team then lost their next three games, all against league opponents, the Minneapolis Marines, 13-6, Chicago Bears, 33-6, and Milwaukee Badgers, 13-0. They did not rebound. The team did rebound to win their next two games, which were against league opponents, and upset over the Buffalo All-Americans, 19-7, in a match with Columbus, rematch with Columbus, 18 to 6. 1923 season, they played in the NFL again for that year, but the team was, that was fielded was weaker than the one from the year prior. While many of the players had moments of great play, the 23, 1923 Indians were really centered around Thorpe, Guy, and Callak. <clears throat> but those three players were constantly missing from the lineup due to injury. Guyon did not play until the eighth game of the season against the Canton Bulldogs, and Thorpe suffered a season-ending injury in the team's ninth game against, against the Columbus Tigers. While Thorpe was a still a decent player, he had lost most of his speed, and it helped him throughout his earlier career. The team lost all of their first nine games against NFL opponents and were outscored 235-12. to The Indians finally won their first game of the season against the independent Marion Athletics, 33 to nothing, before playing their, first, their last two Games a 22 to 19 loss against the Chicago Cardinals and 19 to nothing win over Louisville Brex. Notice all those various teams that we don't hear of anymore. At first, they were an excellent gate attraction, but most fans knew that the team wasn't very good, and they'd already seen the halftime show, so they stayed away. Lingo did not didn't renew the franchise in 1924. Novelty. The novelty soon wore off, and Lingo Portis pulled his financial backing. At the end of the 1923 season, the Indians disbanded. The franchise formally folded in 1924. So that was what I was able to find out on the Orang Indians, a team that was all Native American players. And football is coming up in a, in a few months, and I did last time, week discuss the um, Ravens draft picks. And looking forward to another season, how the... Uh, Ravens quarterback's going to do and how the team's going to do with some of the offensive receivers they've added to the team. And like, subscribe, share. As always, thanks for watching.